Hey guys, welcome back to my channel Lotus Geek. This video is all about fixing the Windows installation error. Windows cannot install the required files with error code 0x800 70570 while upgrading to Windows 10 or Windows 11. So let's go ahead and proceed. The first of all, let's start with the basic troubleshooting steps. Disable all the third party antivirus that you have installed in your system such as Avast, AVG or Norton. Now in second step, now in second step, unplug all other peripheral devices and drivers attached to your system such as external USB drive, any external keyboard, mic or anything else that you have attached to your system, unplug all the devices from your system. And thirdly is, if you are using a USB disk, try to switch the port, I mean use a second or third port instead of the current port to install Windows 10 or Windows 11 in your system. Now if this simple troubleshooting step doesn't fix out and you are still getting the error, Windows cannot install required files, let's proceed with the second step. Click on the start menu, type run, open run command and type here msconfig and hit the enter key. Now here in msconfig, click on the services tab and here choose the option hide all Microsoft services. Once you have hidden, then these are the services that are not from Microsoft. Simply choose the option disable all. Once disabled, hit the apply button and then hit the ok button. Then go ahead, restart your system and then try to install windows in your system. This will fix any other issue if it is conflicting with any software or any program. Now if this also doesn't work out, let's proceed with the third step to fix Windows cannot install required files. You need to download a tool with the name Windows ISO Downloader. I'll share the link to download this tool right in the description of this video. From this left pane, simply choose the Windows 10 that you would like to download. Now here choose the edition of Windows, either Windows 10 or Windows 11. Suppose I'll go ahead and choose the Windows 10 latest version. Click on the confirm button. Choose the language that you would like to install and hit the confirm button again. Select 32 bit or 64 bit depending upon the type of system you have. I have 64 bit, I'll click on the 64 bit download and save it onto my desktop or wherever I want. Provide the path and hit the start download button. You can see the download servers are directly from the Microsoft. That means this particular ISO file is directly downloaded from the Microsoft servers. I'll go ahead and minimize it. Once this ISO is downloaded completely, try to upgrade your windows using this newly built ISO file into your system. Now if this also doesn't work out and you are still getting the error, Windows cannot install required files. Next is you need to head over to your web browser and download a tool with the name Rufus. Simply type Rufus and open the first link to download the tool. Scroll down and here is the download link. Choose the portable one to download it into a system. Once it is saved, go ahead and run it. Now here in Rufus tool, you have an option of file system. First of all, choose the device by plugging the USB drive into your system. I have selected my pen drive and then in the disk image, select the disk image that you have downloaded using this Windows ISO bootable tool. Once boot is selected, here are the options came in front of you with the partition style. Choose GPT or MBR depending upon the type of system you have. To make it clear, open run command and type here MS Info 30 and hit the enter key. Then in the BIOS mode, if you have a legacy, then you need to choose the partition style as MBR. Make sure friend, if you have a legacy, you need to choose MBR and here in BIOS mode, 
if you have a uefi then here partition scheme you need to choose the gpt make sure you select these options wisely this is the major cause why you are getting the error windows cannot install required files once you have chosen these settings simply hit the start button to create a bootable drive for your windows 10 and windows 11 once it is done go ahead and install using this bootable drive and this will completely fix out your issue of windows cannot installed required files this is all about it friends this is how you can fix your error code 0x800 70570 windows cannot install the required files if you are new to this channel and this video works out for you i request you to please click on the subscribe button and turn on the bell notification icon to continue watching lotus geek